All right, welcome back to another video, everyone. Thank you guys so much for being here once again. Sorry this video is coming out a little bit after a week. But Nero has been much more difficult than any block previously. Um, and I almost decided to just not give you guys a video this week, wait a little bit, but uh, I look kind of presentable today. So I decided to make a video today explaining how I explained my low GPA and I got into medical school. So if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. I have a really good video. Well, I wouldn't say good. I'm actually surprised that it has so many views. Um, it's on on getting like my, my grades and my story. I'll link it up, up here so you guys can take a look at it. It's my most viewed video and I talk about when I got a 2.7 GPA um, and then now here I'm in med school. So hit that subscribe button and let's just get into it. So at the end of your medical interview, so once you've done your whole medical school interview, um, most of your interviewers are actually blind to your application. So they don't actually know your GPA or your MCAT or your extracurriculars. A lot of the interviewers during medical school, they only see your, uh, your personal statement and they know you got the minimum requirements to get in or to get an interview invite. So they're not really gonna ask too much about that stuff if they're blind to it. They're gonna be able to look at it after your interview, then they can take a look at it. So there is a perfect opportunity at the end of every single interview where the interview asks you, if, is there anything that you would like to tell us? And this is the point where you have to tell them, look, I didn't get good grades, I got a pretty bad GPA my sophomore year in college because I was taking care of my really sick parents at the time, I was working too much, I had bad time management skills, and I wasn't studying enough, just don't, it's not going to be an excuse, you also have to add on to that, but I learned that I had to X, Y, and Z, I had to work less, I had to study more, I had to change my study habits, I had to do whatever. Um, and I want you to take a look at how I am currently performing in college. Uh, by this point you're probably like a junior or a senior and hopefully you've gotten straight A's after that as was in my case. And you tell them, look I did really bad this semester, I'm sorry. This is what happened, this is what I learned from it and I really want you to take a look at how I, how I have performed recently and I want you to know that I, I am prepared to go through the rigors of the medical school curriculum. I can do science. That was my main, um, that was the main things I told my interviewers, both interviewers at school where I matriculated and it worked because here I am medical school. I did get rejected my first application cycle. I don't think this would have worked even the prior year just because my low grade happened when I was a sophomore. Um, my low GPA happened when I was a sophomore and then I interviewed like between junior and senior year. So it wasn't enough time for them to see that I was actually improving, that I could actually do um, well in academics. But the following year, I continued getting studies into my senior year. I took extra upper level science courses uh, and I got straight A's and I just told them that, look, I really messed up sophomore year, but I really want you to take a look at how I'm currently doing and I want you to understand that I can do this if you guys accept me and then they'll remember that. So if they go to after your interview, if they go look at your application and they thought you were a great interviewer and then they saw that you have a bad GPA or a bad MCAT, they're going to be like, what the heck, I really liked this student but their grades don't really match up with how I felt about them getting into medical school. So you have to be very clear with them. That is a, the perfect time to let them know that's how I did it. That's how I got into medical school. Um, I really hope that this video helped a lot of you that have got, have got that are in the same situation that I was in previously. That's how I did it, guys. It helped me get in. I can't promise 100% that it will work for everybody, of course, but I was just being honest. One, be honest, explain what you learned from it. Three, make sure you have like good grades towards the end to back it up because if you don't, then I don't think this method will work very well. So if you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button right here. 
make my day. Please hit that like button. I'm going to try to get this video uploaded today. Uh, I upload weekly and I'll see you guys in the next video. I really think this video is going to be really helpful. So if you found it helpful, please share with your friends. Um, and I hope that you guys watch me another time. I'll see you guys. I need to get back to studying, so I'm just making this kind of quick. Thank you guys so much.